I'm going to talk to Jessica, Tim, and Larry with quick questions here in just a moment. But Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, do Rob Dew a couple months ago was up there interviewing her for Fall of the Republic too. And he said, you ought to come out with T-shirts to fund your operation, plus get the word out. And she brought me a bunch of them. They're really good-looking shirts. Uh, vaccine Refusenik. She, uh, she's given me three of them. Go to drtenpenny.com mm-hmm. and uh, check out the store there and support the work she's doing. In fact, she's wearing one of them right now. Maybe with that camera we can, we can zoom in on these. This is one that says, uh, forced, mandatory, uh, required. No. And we're saying no to those. DrTenpenny.com on the back. Don't inject me uh, is on the back. So go to DrTenpenny.com and get those and get all our T-shirts, uh, like the Gadsden flag, you name it, at Infowars.com because this is walking billboards for the truth. We've got to bypass the mainstream media and get the job done. Thank so, you, Alex. Uh, Doc, that's a good idea, and I'm glad you took our... Our advice on that, because we all need to fund ourselves to build a bigger platform. We don't have George Soros funding us. <laughs> Jessica in Michigan, you're on the air. Jessica, go ahead. Um, hi, I work at a large hospital here in Grand Rapids, and they have made the flu vaccine mandatory this year for the t- first time. Um, and I am religiously opposed to that, and I've made that clear to the, everybody there pretty much. So this morning, Human Resources um, approached me after work, and they told me that they have set up an appointment for me to meet with a board, and um, I have 15 minutes to plead my case to them as to why I should be um, exempt from um, the vaccine. And currently, they're only allowing medical exemption. Um, and so, um, I don't know. Just wondering if you had any advice. Well, on say you have an allergy. Say you. I mean, but why? Why yeah. to have a job? Well, you have to take the shot. And you have to give full. You have to sign a paper giving full access to all of your medical records, um, and then they have a committee that reviews that. Ma'am, this so is tyranny. This is just tyranny. I, I uh, totally agree. I am. What should she do, doctor? Well, one of the most important things you can do is to try to find some like-minded people. Find some other people that you can band together with and go collectively as a group. Because I am sure that in the place where you work, that there are other people who want to refuse this vaccine. Yes, you're isolated. They want to corner you. That's what predator. Exactly. That's why they're forcibly inoculating only elementary kids because they know they're defenseless. Exactly. And if you and if you can find some like-minded people, there's already a nursing shortage. They can't fire or suspend all of you. So you really need to get together collectively. And you tell them it's a religious discrimination and that you, that you may have to sue them and they'll back off. It, 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 yeah. I th- Decide it's against your religion today. I think that people are going to need to be that strong and stand up for that. Well, look, they stood up. In, in England, they stood up in Germany. They've stu- you know, they, they ordered the doctors to find people they didn't do it. If they didn't take the shot, the doctor said, we'll just quit. I mean, we've got to learn to say no. They tried to put GMO food in France. The farmers went crazy. Yeah. And we've got to grow a backbone like Americans used to. Ma'am, I'm sorry to hear that's happening to you. Tim in Ohio, you're on the air with Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Hello, Dr. Tenpenny. Good afternoon. I'm right next door to you when you're at home in uh, Lorain County. Alex, I missed a message with your video guys. I could have copped you that, uh, that interview. I got all the cameras and all the production. Okay, great. Next- you have a question for it, Tim. We're almost out of time. Yes, Dr. Tenpenny, I notice on the local stations, Monica Roffin, Stephanie Schaefer, Lee Jordan, Alicia Booth, Don Kendrick, none of them will have you on. Why? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. It's sort of like you're never a prophet in your own town, are you? But I was on Mike Trivisano a couple of weeks ago on, on, on 1100 AM, and I was supposed to be on last Thursday, but got preempted by the uh, military uh, base uh, thing that happened. Yep. Tim, thank so. you. Larry, 10-second question. Hit us. Larry in Minnesota. Hi, Alex. Hi, Sherry. Um, I'm a Desert Storm vet and a health care worker and in a similar position as the um, girl that just called it just a minute ago. The goal is 100%. Any comments about herd immunity? And can I give my uh, website out? I'm a health care worker. I want to get this information. But Obama the, uh, says nobody has to take it. Give your exactly. website out. Uh, healthcarecharity.com in the Twin Cities, Minnesota. Thank you. All right, God bless you. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, drsherrytenpenny.com or drtenpenny.com. Thank you so much for spending time with us. You're welcome. Thanks, Alex. You are a trooper, a warrior, an Amazon princess in the fight against tyranny. Retransmission starts now. Key info at infowars.com. Great job.